technical difficulties just so everybody's aware i'm definitely not an it guy okay which shows you if i can build a badass brand and i'm not good at it or i'm not good at technology or i'm not good at phones every one of you guys can do it um super important everybody that's taking notes right now i want you to write something down number one i know a lot of you know who i am because dude i'm everywhere on social media and i know that i don't say that arrogantly i say that because i get 100 to 150 million views every 30 days on social media so this event's called brand x everybody write this down your brand is more valuable than money your new currency is your brand and if you're not building your brand you will get beat by somebody who builds a brand and by the way, even if you make money or you build anything, you could have built it 50 million times bigger had you built a brand. Okay. Now I'm going to write this word down and I want you to write it down too. Are you ready? Write this word down. Engine. You are the engine. Now listen, I'm going to explain this to you. And by the way, everybody understand what I'm about to teach you is probably worth a hundred million dollars. So if you want to learn how to do this, write this down. Now, number one is going to be engine. Who is the engine behind your brand? Who is it? Listen, if you work for a company and you're not good at speaking, you're not good at talking, you don't want to get on social media, you don't want to do all this, I will tell you, you will need to find someone to be the engine for your brand. Okay? Building a brand, you building it and be the face of your brand but so the first question is who's the engine who's the engine who's the face okay has anybody ever seen an entrepreneur that that quits that gives up make it no they're an engine that can't be beat because they never stop and they outlast everyone so you got to write this down if i'm gonna win if i'm gonna build a brand I'm going to have to understand that I'm going to have to outlast everyone. And that's how I built my brand. I remember the first time that I built my YouTube channel, well, when I built it, the first two years, I literally had 2,000 followers. Amazing, right? Took me two years for 2,000. The next year, we grew it from 2,000 to 800,000. I'm going to tell you this. It will break open. The market will know who you are, but you can never, ever, ever stop. Okay? All right, super important. This is this is something that I want ever. By the way, sorry for pacing, guys. I run around. I got ADD. I can't hold still. Um, okay, super important to every single one of you. Write this down. Engine. Okay. Now, so engine is who's the one that's going to be building the brand. Secondly, I want you to write down, down this. Your engine. How does everything tie together with your brand? Write this down. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. YouTube. Now, I want you to understand this. Everything that you build, all of your brands must all tie together. Everything must flow together. It must all be interactively tied. You say, Andy, what does that mean? That means this. If I go to your Instagram right now, right? Every one of you right now, you guys want to build a brand. You want people to know how to reach out to you. Guys, I get 1,500 leads organically every 30 or every, every day on social media, 1,500 leads every day. And so how do I do it? You ready? So on Instagram, you need to write this down, a link tree. You got to have a link tree or some form of a link in your bio that tells people what you do. Remember this, your brand. And by the way, guys, you got to stand out and you got to be different. Okay. You can't be like everyone else. Every one of you, you can't expect to build a business if you're going to be like everyone else out there. If you guys have watched my content, would everybody agree I'm a little bit like out there? Like I get a little bit intense. I talk about conversations and topics. I never talk politics. I never talk religion. I'm not saying you can't, 
I do tell everybody that God is my foundation in life and God's number one to me, but I don't really get into it. I don't tell people, you know, religiously what to believe. You need to be a Christian. You need to be this. You need to be that. I just tell people that God's the foundation of my life. And that's about as much as I'll share. And I do share I'm a Christian. But I want you guys to understand that, that I don't get into that. Um, I just met The Rock. So I'm here I'm here in, uh, in Florida, and I just got done literally on Patrick Bet David's stage at the vault in front of 6,000 people. Um, uh, ending his event after The Rock spoke. I was in the back, and you guys know Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, okay? He's he's one of these people, they, they say that 57% of the world, he's one of the most recognized people in the world, 57% of the world will recognize The Rock and know who he is if they see him walking around. So my question is, write this down, does my, does my face stand out in a crowd? Am I dropping enough content and in enough places and being emo- and, and being enough consistent with it that my face is standing out in a crowd? When I went back there to take a picture with Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, listen, I'm gonna tell you this. This guy, this guy made three hundred freaking mil- bil- million dollars last year. This guy's one of the most famous people. He's one of the most famous people on planet Earth. He's got six hundred million followers on Instagram. I go back there to take a picture with him. He looks over at me, goes, I know who you are. He goes, I watch your shit. I love it. I want every one of you to know this. In 2021, I started dropping content like crazy. Everybody write this down. 2021. Give me three good years. That's what I want to ask every single one of you. Give me three good years. Three good, three good years for you to build a brand that will last you a lifetime. Now, here's what you're going to have to do. Step one, on Instagram, you're going to have to make content that has a hook to it. The first three seconds, especially on Instagram, the first three seconds of every video, every piece of content that you drop, if it does not have a hook at the beginning, and if people will not watch it for the first three seconds, the algorithm will never share your content, you'll never grow, and you'll never get in front of more people. Now, if you create a hook, I will tell you, every one of you will have 500,000 followers in the next 365 days on Instagram guaranteed as long as you make your content creative now i, I want to talk about before I, I start going back into everything tying together as the engine everybody go th- let's go to this little uh this little i'm going to call it content creation phase for instagram you got to have a thumbnail write this down if your thumbnail isn't cool and it doesn't get people's attention and it doesn't make people wonder what's on the other side of that thumbnail, they will not click on the video. Number two, the title of your thumbnail matters. The title has to be intriguing. The title has to draw people in. Number three, underneath the title that's on the thumbnail, you also have the ad copy in the description box. Okay, those two, you don't want them the same. You want them both to be very creative so people will click on it. You're not making clickbait, but listen, if I create a thumbnail where I'm like pointing at somebody, right? Guess what people will do? People will click on it because they think that I'm engaging with somebody. But if it's just a picture of me sitting in front of my computer, no one's going to click on it. By the way, the thumbnail doesn't actually have to be a picture from the video that you're shooting. Okay, be creative here. Your thumbnail can be something completely different just to get people to click on it. Okay, so you got your thumbnail, you got your title on your thumbnail, what the thumbnail says, you got your ad copy below. Now let's go to your let's go to your uh, your 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 piece of content. I want you to ask yourself about this piece of content. Is this piece of content shareable? Is it shareable? Okay. In the first three seconds, is there a hook? I'm asking everybody a question. In the first three seconds of your content, is there a hook? Guys, your video editors, and or if you're making your videos, I want to tell you this. Maybe you put at the beginning of your Instagram video a clip that actually loops from the end just to catch people's attention. By the way, everybody understand this. Your editors, tell them their job is to tell the story, paint the picture. A editor, a good editor will be able to tell a story. So I'm going to give you an example. If somebody right now creates something from this event today, maybe one of the speakers said something, a good editor won't just clip the the piece of content, put music behind it and upload it. A good editor will sometimes say, hey, actually, 
you know, he said this thing for 30 seconds, but a minute later, he also said something for four seconds that was really good that went with what he said two minutes earlier during the 30 seconds. I'm going to take the four seconds that he said two minutes later, and I'm actually going to put that piece in front of the 30 second clip. And by the way, no one knows that it wasn't wasn't all said together. Good content editors will literally take an over a five minute piece of content, clip together 30 seconds of content back to back to back to back to back that all runs together and they'll create a piece of content. Does that make sense? So anyways, I just want to tell every single one of you, make sure that your editors, right? Make sure your editors are clipping, gotcha, are clipping together, right? Make sure your editors are clipping together your content that you're putting together and tell them, don't just go find something I say and then upload it. You need to you need to find something that I'm talking about, a topic, remember this, something that's shareable and then literally clip that together to make it look like it flows even better than I said it. Does that make sense? Your editor's job is to tell the story. Okay, once he's got a shareable piece of content, what does that mean? That means someone on social media is going to watch this and go, damn, I believe in that. I like that. What do we want them to do? We want them to share it. When they share it, that's how you grow. That's how more people know who you are. That's how you get followed. Okay, once you create a piece of content, everybody write this down. Music. Dude, this is huge. Music is so important. Okay, so what do we got? We got a thumbnail. We got the title on the thumbnail. We got the ad copy. We've got literally the piece of content that you uploaded, which that piece of content that your video editor grabbed doesn't need to be a 30-second streamlined uh, sentence that you said. It can be something out of a 30-minute conversation, and then they clipped up 30 seconds of stuff that flows together good, and then they release that out uh, as a piece of content. Your music, oh my gosh, your music puts emotion to your message. Dude, I'm telling you, I hear some of you, you you say something so cool, could have changed the whole world, everybody would have loved it, but guess what? You put the wrong damn music behind it, nobody felt the heartfelt pain message, they didn't feel what you were saying, that it wasn't upbeat enough, and then guess what? It never trends. It never goes viral. Um, and man, and that's just something. And by the way, put this down. Noise effects. Okay? Interrupters. When they're clipping your content, tell them to do this. Sometimes change the color from black to white. By the way, some things look good in black and white that don't look good in color. And some things in color don't look good in black and white. If you'll notice, a lot of the times when I create a piece of content... I will literally, everybody write this down, as I'm creating uh, the, the, the point or the message or as I'm getting passionate at a certain point during the, the, the piece of content, they will zoom in on my face. kind of looks like this. It's me sitting here and I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, if anyone ever tells you this and then it's like, you got to get pissed off. It's like they come in on your face. Does that make sense? So your editor, he needs to do a couple things. Are you ready? I, I, listen, I know you guys are taking notes, but let's say the piece of content is recorded like this. I know you guys can see my frame and my body. Let's say it's recorded like this. Watch. What's more entertaining? What's more entertaining? I'm talking for five seconds. Ready? So it goes, hey, guys, if somebody ever gives you an objection, this is how you need to handle it. You do it like this. You do it like that. You do it like this. Or what if it was like this? Are you ready? Watch this content. Same piece of content. Hey, guys, if someone ever gives you an objection, this is what you got to do. You got to do it like this. 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 What did I do? Every time that the content creator zooms in and zooms out, which is your editor, why he's creating. Listen, it's the same piece of content. Your eyes will move off of a piece of content and you will you will scroll up and go to the next piece if the, the screen doesn't change most of the time. I didn't say all the time. I said most of the time. So what are some things that we can do to make the customer more engaged? Number one, okay, have your video editors go in and out, in and out, in and out while you're speaking, okay? Or flip the two different camera angles, okay? You have two cameras running at once. 
But if you don't have two cameras, you can go in or out. Okay. Secondly, flip from black to white, and then they can do transitions. I know you know what transitions are. Transitions are like how the screen like shakes, right? When it goes, when it goes from like one transition to another. Okay. So you guys got all that transition in and out. Okay. Black or white. Got to have the right music. Remember emotion tells the story. You might say something super cool, but guess what? Why do you think at the end of a church sermon, when the, when the preacher goes to ask everybody who wants to give their life to Jesus, why do you think they start playing the music? Think about it because they want to put you emotionally in a state to surrender. And so I want you to understand this, that the music is just as important or even more important than the piece of content. You guys hear me? Okay. All right. So listen, by the way, what am I doing right now? I'm making sure that you guys don't spend the next year of your life dropping content every single day and then never grow a brand. I'm actually telling you how to create your best odds. Why? Because I did the exact same thing that you guys are going to do right now. And I still have to figure out how to beat and trick the algorithm nonstop. Everybody understand this. Why do you need to understand how to create your best odds? Because the algorithm hates you and it will never be your friend. It, it, is, it, it, it will cheat on you. It will betray you. It will feed you 30,000 followers one day and then take 30,000 away the next day. Listen, but if you don't play the game, the people that do are going to beat your ass. Okay? So I want to tell you, should this be fun? Yes. Rule number one, always keep it fun. Number two, learn more every day. Number three, post consistently. How much do you want to post every day? And by the way, change up your content, okay? So listen, you guys see me. I post my wife a lot with me. She's important to me. My marriage is everything. Um, you know, I want to be a mentor to a lot of people. And I really think that, you know, if you're a man, I'm just giving an example, and you're looking up to me and you're like, man, I want to go and, uh, you know, get close to this guy and I want to follow this guy, well, your wife is going to be like, why are you going out there to be hanging out with this guy? She watches my content. She's like, oh, wait, what a, wait a minute. This guy's a really good husband. This guy takes really good care of his wife. Of course, I would let this guy go and, and freaking or I'd let this guy teach my my husband. Why? Because he loves his he loves his wife. And that will make me or uh, my husband come home and probably love me more because all this guy does is talk about how awesome his wife is. You see what I mean? Make sure that you guys are rotating your content daily. Number one, there's got to be a fitness piece, okay? Make it cool, too. Change your music all the time. Never get stuck in the same thing and be willing to be creative and think outside the box, okay? Editing isn't enough. Your editor has to be a storyteller. By the way, if you find a good one, pay more money, okay? Listen to me. I get it. In the beginning, I had to, I had to edit all my own stuff on CapCut when I first started, Okay, but once you once you start making a little bit of money, the difference between spending five grand on an editor or nine grand, if the nine grand's good, spend the nine. You'll make it back up in your business, I promise you. Plus, building your brand is priceless. So spend the money, but get a good one. Don't ever let your editors get comfortable. They gotta keep telling stories every day. By the way, how do you create content? Well, there's two ways. Number one, the first way is just how you live. Okay? Be a great human being. Don't be a fraud. Live by a high standard and have somebody record you. Just you doing life. To me, that seems to be the greatest stuff. When you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, when you're coaching or training your sales team, when you're out at dinner with your wife, when you're hanging with your kids, guys, that just you really being you is the best content on planet Earth. Because by the way, like people are choosing to follow you because they want to look up to you. Okay, and then secondly, there's like, you may want to create a shot list. Okay, so everybody write that down, shot list. What does that mean? Maybe there's 10 or 15 topics that you want to talk about, right? Like how to get closer to God, you know, how, how to get ripped and shredded in the gym, you know, how, how, to, how to overcome, you know, uh, I don't know, how to overcome, you know, having a, a bad mindset. Whatever it is, these are things that's a shot list that you need to set up with your video editor and shoot straight content into the camera. And by the way, when you're looking, look straight into their eyes. I want you to tell, tell I want to tell you a superpower. When you're speaking and talking into the camera and you're shooting a shot list, 
right? You're either going to shoot it one or two ways. Number one, either like grab a podcast mic and just like talk into the wall and have it get you from the side. That could be one way. Or two, just talk directly into the camera, which I like to do because I like to connect with people. By the way, everybody write this down. Come alive. Dude, listen, if you're going to give a message, okay, make it a message worth hearing. Don't be dead. Okay? And this is why if you're going to be a content creator, if you're going to be an influencer, if you're going to build a brand, okay, the only way that you're going to trend and outtrend everyone else is by being different than everyone else. It's the only way. All right. I've started this training out by saying you're the engine. It's you. So you better wake your ass up. Number two, I said everything flows together. And that is the engine of how you pull leads in, uh, of how you grow your business, um, whatever it is that you're trying to do, everything has to tie together. So I'm going to go back to this. I said on Instagram, you need to make sure you have a link tree. It needs to be very simple, who you are, what you do, how people can get in contact with you. And don't put more than two or three different things. By the way, don't sell anything through your link tree. Okay, write this, right, put this down. Only do a lead form. Okay, when people come to your link tree, when they find you on Instagram, when they find you on YouTube, when they find you on Facebook, do you want them to purchase something or would you like them to fill out their information? See, you want to get their information, okay? Because listen to me, they, they might fill that thing out at 2 a.m. in the morning. It doesn't matter, you'll call them the next day. They might fill it out at 9 o'clock at night at 8 a.m. People will fill out a form if it's really clear. Fill this out. This is what I help people with. I'll personally reach out in the next 24 hours. Name, phone number, email. Um, best way Best way you would like me to contact you. Would you like me to contact you by text or by or by call? You know, and is there hours you want me to con contact you, hours you don't want me to contact you? You could even go into that, especially if you have a big sales team like mine. You know, I've got 100 plus people and we're, they're dialing all day long. So I like people to put in actually the times that they would like to set up a call, right? Between, you know, and people will put 10 a.m. to 3 to 3 p.m., right? And they'll put best form of contact cell phone or by text. And I like that because I'm basically asking the customer, like, how do you want to be treated? How do you want me to contact you? Like, dude, and if they can answer that, how do they want you to reach out to them? Like, they'll have a better shot of answering. Okay, super important. I'm going to walk through this. You have Instagram post. I know you guys know this. So every day you need to decide if, if I'm going to create a schedule on how to post. By the way, everybody, don't ever use a scheduling tool. Listen to me. If you use a scheduling tool, that's where you load your content and it posts it for you. I'm going to tell you it's never going to have any weight. It's never going to grow and it's going to get buried and the algorithm's never going to run with it. So if anybody's using a scheduling tool right now, I would tell you this. Post your own damn content. And if you don't have time to do it, pay someone to do it. Lastly, on Instagram, hashtags. Hashtags work really good on Instagram. They're very, very good. And look for the highest viewed hashtags based on each individual video. I, I don't do hashtag Elliot Army. If I want to build Elliot Army, then I would start hashtagging it. But Elliot Army, if I'm not post, if that doesn't have 41 million people, you know, following Elliot Army hashtag, it's not going to help it trend or get viewed. So you want to look for the highest viewed hashtags. So remember this. You have a post. So like if I was to create a schedule for all you guys, here's what I would do. Are you ready? I would create three pieces of content a day. This would be bare minimum. Bare minimum. Two, two would be short form. One would be a still image. And then I would make sure that I threw in a long form YouTube video. So let's go through this. Are you ready? So on Instagram, you can post... On Facebook, you can post still images. On YouTube, everybody go to YouTube. It has YouTube long form, YouTube shorts, short form, and then it has YouTube post. You can post all three, okay? So what I would create is two pieces of short form content. Now, what do you do with that? Number one, post it to your Instagram reel, okay? Don't post it as Instagram video. Post it to Instagram reel, do a Facebook reel, right? Do a Facebook reel, okay? Do, an, do a LinkedIn post, 
do a TikTok post, and then do a YouTube short. I would do that twice a day, and then I would do one still image, and you can't do a still image on TikTok, I don't think, but on the other four platforms, you can. I would do a still image on all the other ones. Now, follow me here, okay? And then I would do one long-form YouTube video. Now, I want to tell everybody about this long-form YouTube. Number one, I'm, I'm going to give you guys the hack here. I'm going, to, I'm going to give you the cheat code here, how to own any niche. Are you ready? Write this down. How to own any niche in any industry. And we're going to finish with this. This is what we're going to finish off on. I'm going to show you how to own any niche in any industry within six months. Now, I want everybody, I'm going to give you homework. Are you ready? Everybody right now, pull your phones out. Go to Google. She's our mother. She tells us who, who we need to look, look and who we don't need to look at. Ready? Everybody go to Google and everybody type in car sales training. Okay, type it in. Car sales training. When I started posting on social media, I wanted to own Google. So what did I do? Every one of my videos that I started, every video I started, car sales training, slash, slash, the title of the video, slash, slash, Andy Elliott. Now, what am I doing SEO on? Are you ready? Number one, I'm SEO car sales training. I'm SEO Andy Elliott. And then in the middle, that's what the title of the video is. So if somebody types that in on Google, that's going to pull. Everybody, every one of you that typed in car sales training right now, what did you see? Number one, you saw paid ads. Underneath the paid ads, what did you see? You saw your boy, Andy Elliott. Now look, go back to the top. Google says there's 9 million videos or 9 million articles on car sales training. But guess what? You literally saw Andy Elliott on the, on the top of the organic. You guys feel me? Isn't that pretty cool? So guys, right now, what does that mean? Are you ready? What niche do you want to own? Are you ready? Real estate broker. Okay, so you guys are going to go create a long-form video every day. It could be a Zoom meeting you had with the client. It could be a training you did with your team. It could be direct shooting. It's going to say mortgage broker, slash, slash, how to sell any customer, slash, slash, Derek Keller. Does that make sense? That's how it works. And if you posted a video every day for six months, in six months, if somebody typed in that name on Google, it would pull your video and you would own that niche. Pretty cool, isn't it, guys? All right, so super important, man. Listen, training doesn't have to be long. I told you guys there's there's two pieces of shorts I would do every day. I do five. You do two. Do one still image, one long-form YouTube video. Decide what is your niche. Start that start that mortgage industry, insurance, you know, life insurance sales, slash, slash, whatever it is at the beginning. Okay, how to get fit, slash, slash, working out, slash, slash. If you want to own that on Google, you got to do it every day. And eventually, within six months, you will own the entire niche on that. By the way, one more thing and we're done. Create call to actions on your long-form YouTube videos. At about minute two, minute three, minute four, just interrupt your own video and say, hey, guys, it's Andy. Listen, if you've been watching this video and you found it valuable, you probably have some questions you want to talk to me about. Shoot me a text message, 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text. I'll answer anything you need. I'll help you. I got you back for life. Let's get back to the video. You guys can create your own commercials in the middle of your long-form YouTube videos. Guys, this is how I generate 1,500 leads a day on social media. Every single one of you watching this, just the information that I gave you, I would tell you two things. Number one, you're the engine. Number two, make sure all of the things tie together on every platform with what? A link tree with the lead form. So they all go into a CRM and that's how you gather your leads. Okay. Number two, make sure that, make sure that you don't quit. Don't quit. Post every day and never go a day without posting. So I know guys, uh, Travis put this event on for you guys. I love Travis. I want to tell every single one of you, the fact that you're there at Brand X, the fact that you're there means that you care about building your brand. Period. And by the way, your brand is more valuable than money. Your brand is your new currency. Your brand, all the future relationships, all the deals you're going to make and all these partnerships are all going to come from your brand. 
people looking up to you, wanting to be you, is all going to come from your brand. Recruiting the right people is going to come from your brand. Everything is going to come from your brand. And if you don't build it, you're going to miss out on the greatest opportunity in your life to have changed the world, created impact, and actually curved history. So I know that Travis has given you guys an opportunity to do some additional training. Everybody write this down. Cut the check for speed. If he says for $1,500, I'll teach you guys how to build your brand, here's what I'll tell you. I would cut that check so fast, and I would I would have him teach me. I would grow whatever. the whatever. I know there's got to be an offer because at every event, even including mine, they always give somebody something when they leave that they can follow through with. Because coming to an event, decide that you want to build a brand. When you leave, you have to do something. So I know they give you guys an opportunity to plug into something. So I'm just saying whatever it is, Cut the check for speed. What it costs you not to build your brand, you don't even want to mess with those numbers. So do it. I love you guys. Um, I want to tell you, just like I met The Rock today, and he's like, dude, I watch your stuff. It is so crazy how when I meet these guys and, and they say, oh, I watch your stuff, I'm thinking three years ago, I'm like, dude, like I'm, I'm doing what you guys are going to do right now, okay? So do it. And you guys join Travis, and I love you, and I appreciate it. I hope to see you guys soon. Have a blessed day, guys. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> you may have jumped off, but Andy, this is your boy, the Olympian Speaks. And from the Brand X family in Phoenix, Arizona, to the Elliott Army family in Florida, everyone get up and give him some love and some gratitude. Thanks, brother.